our worst case scenarios more or less are coming true, but the political sphere has not acted at all. Professor John Schellenhuber, you are probably one of the most uh, recognized climate scientists in the world, and you are the father of the phrase tipping points. Mm. Could you explain um, what is actually a tipping point? Mm. The really important parts of the planetary machinery, which can be pushed into a new mode of operation, or they can be pushed into destruction if you turn up the heat. Uh, if you look at the really important parts, uh, what is organizing our atmosphere, what is organizing our oceans, when you end up with, say, two dozens of tipping elements. Uh, and which ones would you say, just a few ones, which are the most important ones to think about? In the short term, circulation patterns in the atmosphere. So if you have, as we see already, a distortion of the jet stream, this brings more extreme events because the jet stream is driven by the temperature difference between the Arctic, cool air, and the mild air uh, in, in the moderate, in the temperate zone, actually. And since the Arctic is warming three times as fast as the rest uh, of the northern hemisphere, this temperature difference becomes smaller and smaller and the jet stream becomes more sluggish and is forming these huge Rossby waves who become stationary. So it's fascinating physics behind it. Now in the medium term, it's the, the tropical coral reefs, the Great Barrier Reef will probably perish till the end of the century. And the Amazon rainforest, uh, if you deforest say 20% or 25%, you know, simply by slash and burn and so on of the Amazon rainforest, when the system probably will collapse into a savanna. And in the really long term, it is the ice sheets. Greenland ice sheet is 2,000 to 3,000 meters thick, and it has survived millions of years, of course. Eh? But once it starts to melt on the surface, eh? say by a few meters, you know, the more you melt, the further you go, go down into warmer air. That means it will melt even faster. Also the surface becomes rougher, it's absorbing more sunlight, it's a self-amplifying process. Eh? But the, the, the sleeping giant clearly is the East Antarctic ice sheet, and it holds the water equivalent of 50 to 60 meters. Eh? So if the, the East Antarctic ice sheet would become destabilized. Uh, this would actually, in the end, lead to a sea level rise, which is beyond any type of management. Uh, that will determine the fate of this planet. This is a science with huge amount of uncertainties. Mm. Uh, how sure are we with the science around tipping points? Mm, mm we can write down the history of planet Earth uh, through the ice cores, uh, through the sediments and so on. So we know what happened under what conditions. Uh. Looking back into the Earth's past, uh, we are much more confident that the things we talk about and we simulate with our computers are actually the real thing. Uh. Just recently, uh, you and some other uh, leading scientists in the field, uh, you came out with a, an even more alarming mm. report where you write about how some of these systems are actually interconnected. Interact, yeah. If the Greenland ice sheet, for example, starts to melt down, will this be more or less ignored by the other tipping elements? The Gulf Stream is actually formed initially by the sinking of salty and cold water, dense water, down 4,000 meters deep. Eh? Now, if you dilute that water through the melting, it is not heavy enough anymore to sink down. Ultimately, it will stop the deep water formation. Eh? Once you start with machinery to collapse somewhere, it could be a self-amplifying process, which would 
provide extra heat and extra warming to the planet. Uh, and this in turn could, for example, uh, instigate the collapse of further forests and so on. We cannot exclude for sure right now that something like a self-amplifying greenhouse process exists on Earth. And if that happens, it would actually kill our civilization. But it is a drama in which we are, and we don't know yet whether it will turn out as a comedy or a tragedy.